Hey everyone, in this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to send a trading view alerts to Twitter and Telegram with absolutely zero coding knowledge. So here are some of the requirements that you need uh, before configuring it. And uh, absolutely, if you are a trading view user, you need to have a pro or pro plus or a premium account for generating a webhook alerts. The alerts uh, which is generated based on the technical analysis based uh, and followed by that uh, one also needs access to Microsoft Power Automation. Absolutely, it's very easy. Anybody can go and log in and absolutely again uh, Telegram bot and Telegram channel creation one how to do and then uh, Twitter account is what one need to access or to transmit any alerts which are getting generated from trading view uh, simultaneously. Uh, we need to transmit to Twitter and Telegram. So that is what I'm going to explain. Let's see how to configure those things. Uh, within uh, next 10 minutes, I'll show you how we can connect with absolutely zero coding knowledge. First of all, I'm going to create a new Telegram bot. So I'll go to add bot father. So you know, bot father in Telegram is to create a uh, Telegram bot. So I'll go and say like a slash new bot. So this is a command to create a new bot. And I'm going to enter a new bot over here. I'm going to say like, uh, uh, TV uh, TV stands for trading view so TV alert is what I'm gonna say TV alert uh, 2022 or 2021 right so I'll say like well, I'll put that today's uh, I mean November 2021 TV alert November 2021 is the bot name I'm just creating so the bot name do exist and then followed by that uh, uh, I'm also going to give a name to that. So I'm going to say like TV alert number 2021 bot. So make sure that it is unique and it also ends with a bot. So it creates a bot and uh, the bot father itself, it throws you the uh, a simple uh, uh, key. So keep this key along with you. This is very, very important. Copy it and then keep it uh, separately in a notepad. So I'm just putting that in a notepad over here. This is a, uh, key right so the, this is telegram key over here telegram api key using the secret key only we're going to use it so absolutely you should not share with anybody so, uh, in my case i'm just sharing because it is a, a tutorial so I, I can share it and then i'm not going to use it for any other purposes so once you're done with that next thing is like going and creating a channel so click quickly i'll go and uh, click on new channel over here so the, i'll enter the channel name i'll say like tv alerts Right, so trading view alerts, I'll say like uh, uh, trading view alerts. So I'll click on uh, create or I'll say like trading view alerts 2021. Okay. So that's a channel name. The channel got created and I also need to give a name to that channel. So I'll say like TV alert November uh, 2021. Okay, so the link is available so I can go and uh, save it. So that's the name of the channel itself. So every channel, right, you can have the username with an at symbol in the beginning. So at TV channel November 2021, that's what I'm also going to save it. I'll also bring it to the notepad and then I'll add a user to that. I can add a user. Not only that, I, I can, I have to go and add the bot as well. So I have to go and add uh, the bot. So I'll go and add the user with an bot name. So we know that our bot name is like at TV alert November 2021 bot. That is the name of the bot itself. So you search the bot automatically it comes in the list. So add it and um, click on add. Make sure that you're clicking on add, making as an admin. So make your bot as an admin and then click on save and that's it. The bot has been now added. Right. So now once it is added, now we're going to test the bot with a simple browser based URL and then we're going to go and configure it automatically. Let me show you how to do that. The next step is to go and uh, test the Telegram API. So here I had collected the uh, Telegram API key and then the channel name. Now what I'm going to go here is I'm going to go and search for market calls and then uh, probably Telegram. So probably you'll be ending up with how to send Telegram uh, alerts from Mami Broker to Telegram. So you can go to this uh, tutorial and from here you can go and get the URL. So there's a, a URL. Uh, it is a HTTP request URL to call the Telegram bot API and to send a message to the Telegram bot API. Copy this URL and bring it to your notepad and ensure that in this URL, right? So I'm going to replace the API key blocker. So here is the bot API key. I'm going to replace it with uh, mine. 
and also i'm gonna go to the chat id so there's a channel name is there so remember the channel what we created i'm also put a ad symbol over there that ad symbol here along with that symbol i have to enter into my channel name so that is what i'm gonna do over here and the message so message block i'm gonna say like this is a test message so this is a test message okay so this is what i'm gonna transmit i'll copy the information i'll put it in a browser so in a new browser and then i'll press enter so if i press enter i should be able to get those telegram alerts immediately over here you can see that i'm just getting a telegram alert over here so it's it's coming to my channel and there's a test message so that means uh, telegram uh, api is working now once the telegram api testing is done the next step is to go to microsoft power automation website you can go to india.flow.microsoft.com so from here you can go and configure the uh, microsoft power automation flow over here so i'll tell you how we can do that it's very very simple so first thing is always you have to go to the uh, create section and from here you have to go and create the instant cloud flow so instant cloud flow is what we're going to create and uh, here under the flow name you have to search for a uh, when a http is received so that's what we're going to do over here so when http is received i'm just going to click on that uh, i'm just going to scroll down at the end i'm just finding that when a http request is received and then i'm going to click on create now after clicking on create right this is what we are going to this is what it's going to create a webhook url once i hit the save automatically it will create a webhook url over here so i think i need to add one more step so i'll add one more step here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to bring that response i'm going to type for response over here so i'm going to select a response uh, this requires a premium account in uh, microsoft power automation in my case i'm already having it so i'll click on response so under the response the body section i'm going to enter the i click on body and you can see that on the extreme right hand side i'm i'm just having an when http received http request is received i'm going to select the body over here and uh, now i'm going to hit a save so if i press save button what you might be noticing here is if i go to the http request is received you will be able to see an webhook url this webhook url is what we're going to use it in trading view so the trading view is going to send a message to this url that will be received by microsoft power automation and uh, whatever the message which is containing in the trading view that message is what we now we are going to transmit to the telegram so let's see how to in order to transmit to the telegram i'm going to click on new step over here right so i am going to select uh, http over here so which brings the http over here this is the http and remember uh, under this uh, method i'll go and select the post method so post method is as good as like you calling the url from the browser and uh, the url itself so i if you remember we already called the url over here this is the url message so this entire message is nothing but up to text i'm going to copy uh, remember uh, remaining message is what are the message i'm going to get it from the trading view itself so i'm going to enter the url along with that you can see that the text equal to i'm going to call it as a body so this body is nothing but the message that we extracted from the trading view so from the trading view uh, uh, it's going to transmit message to this particular url i'm also copy going to copy this url as well so i'm going to keep this url i'm going to say like this is more of a, a webhook url webhook url which is generated by microsoft power automation which is what i'm going to key in in my uh, trading view application so i'm just going to copy this and just going to keep it separately followed by that uh, when this message is received we'll be getting the information in the form of body we are extracting the response which is generated from the trading view and that information we are posting it to telegram application so that is what we are doing over here simultaneously we are also going to connect with twitter as well so let me go and click on a new step here add a parallel branch parallelly i'm going to transmit to twitter as well so i'm going to type twitter so twitter and uh, i'm going to post a tweet over here so i'm going to post a tweet saying like uh, uh, so this is this is a telegram alert i mean uh, trading view alert trading view alert and the message here is message is 
the body what are the message that we are receiving from trading view i'm going to immediately transmit to my twitter as well so simultaneously i'm going to transmit to telegram as well i'm going to transmit to twitter as well let's see how this works i'm going to save the flow right the next step is uh, the final step which is nothing but going and creating the trading view alert so i'm in the trading view charts here and the crude oil charts is what running so here i want to create an alert so first of all i'll right click and then i'll go and create a crude oil alert over here and then i want to say like crossing up if the price is crossing up let's say something like 15 uh, 25 kind of levels uh, or 23 kind of levels i want to generate an alert and uh, the web hook url this web hook url is what i'm going to get it which i stored in the notepad the one which we received from the microsoft power automation that flow and that url is what i'm going to paste it over here once the url is pasted i'm also going to create an alert name i'm going to say like uh, uh, twitter and telegram alert twitter and the telegram alerts okay here is the message this is the message i want to transmit to the application maybe since price is trading at 5517 i also say like I, i just want to bring the alert very closer to the price i'll create the alert and click on create and that's it so now any alert which is getting generated once the price is crossing that threshold levels the alert will be automatically and instantly will get triggered so let me also drag very close to the price so that we get a quick alert so if for all the price action i'm just dragging it to 5514 plus level if the 5514 is crossing up maybe the alerts will be getting triggered very faster let's see i'm just waiting for the alerts to get triggered uh, one point above you can see that the alerts got triggered so in instantly you can see that the telegram alert is getting transmitted i mean uh, via the microsoft power automation not only that Uh, if i go to twitter account as well the twitter also generated the alerts which we got from uh, microsoft power automation so i'll go back to my uh, profile so from my profile i'll be able to see that uh, alert which is getting generated so i guess that is a very interesting tutorial if you like this tutorial and you would like to get more such tutorial kindly like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you